Hello and welcome. This is Robert and today I would like to give you a quick overview of some strategy on how to best complete a creature of one color in the game Cartoona. If you complete a creature of a, of a single color in the game, you'll earn double the points uh, for accomplishing that. So it's definitely a goal worth striving uh, for. In the game Cartoona, you earn points based on the face value of the tiles that are listed on the tiles you use to complete a creature. So with the 94 tiles in the game, you can complete just under 30 million different unique characters. Of those combinations, just over 38,000 of them are, can be creatures of a single color. So that represents like 0.01% of, of the possible combinations. So it it's definitely cuts down the possibilities, but the, the double point bonus that you get uh, makes it worth it. So let's show you right here, I've got uh, a creature that's under construction. And let's say if we're, we're playing a, a full game and I've got these down, I'm off to a really great start in building my my single color creature. If these are the tiles in my hand, and I'll just show you these, I've got a blue, a blue body here. I've got, this would be great, obviously I could play this tile there to continue uh, to build my creature, but that would mean I would need to get a yellow tail and a yellow back legs and a yellow mouth and nose and some yellow ears to get those double points. So that's a lot. Um, I've also got some yellow back legs. I'm going to be using those, so I, I want to hold on to that. I've got a back end with a tail, which would be a better option for me to play to complete an all yellow creature because now I don't need to get a yellow tail. And there are no more, ye there's no yellow tails in my hand here. So this would be the better option. Um, I've got the yellow ears ready to go in my hand. I've got a yellow mouth ready to go in my hand and I've got a purple mouth ready to go in my hand. All right, so that's, uh, uh, that's the, the hand that I, I currently have. Now the cards that I have, I've got a steal card, which will enable me to steal any tile from another player. I've got a change color card, which changes the color of, of any tile I choose and play. I've got a block card, um, and I'll tell you that these are very good to hold on to. If somebody played, for example, a negative two point tile on here, I might be tempted to block that, to not get that negative two points, but that would probably be not the best use for a block card. These, these are something you probably want to hold on to for when you really need it, like when you're trying to complete a creature of a single color. So that's something you want to hold on. I've got a prevent card as well, and I've got plus three points as well on any yellow tile. So this is something I can play. So on this turn, I've already got, as you remember, I've got, I've got this. I'm not gonna play that though. I'm gonna save the back legs to play. I've got the tail, that's something I wanna play. The ears I wanna play. The nose I wanna play. Uh, but I also have this purple nose here that's worth four instead of two. So I'm going to show you the best strategy if I really want to complete this yellow creature is I'm going to play a purple nose. All right. So what that does is it gets the pressure off of you because your opponents now say, oh, he's not going for the yellow creature anymore and they can kind of take their, they might take their eyes off the ball. Because if you remember in my cards here, I have a change, I have a change color card. So if I save this for my last turn, I can t then turn that purple nose yellow and I get the two, I get the single color bonus. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to that. So every turn in the full game of Cartoon, you can play a tile and you can play a card. So in this case, I'm gonna play, for my turn, I'm gonna play a yellow uh, a, a plus three point card on any yellow tile and I'll just pick the feet here and I, I, I'll play it there and I'll get that bonus if I complete the creature. Okay, so everybody else will go, and when it comes back to me, hopefully nobody has stolen a tile or, 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 or swapped a color. If they try to, I've got this block card to use. All right, so on my next turn, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play this. 
that we had. That back end. And I'm going to draw another card and see what I get. I get a triple play. Play an additional two tiles from your hand. I'm gonna, not going to do that because if I did it, I could finish my creature, but I, after playing this, this card, I cannot play another card. And remember, I want to change this color so I get double the points. So I'm going to hold on to that and not play it. And I'm actually going to, if there was no other tile being played that I'd want to steal, I would, I would just not play a card this turn. Okay. So then it's going to go around, and if I'm still in the same position, I'm going to play some years. Now I'm getting close. I'm going to draw a card. Let's see what I get. Uh, play plus three points on any magenta tile. I don't have a magenta tile down, so I can't play that. I don't want to play my triple play because, again, I want to change the color here. And I'm not going to change the color yet. I'm going to wait until my last turn. So I'm not going to take any action. Um, I'm not going to play any cards on this turn either. All right, so it's going to come around. And I haven't been drawn tiles. You would be drawn tiles every turn as well. So now I'm going to draw another card. And I get another steel card. So on this turn, I'm going to finish my creature. I'm going to add these yellow back legs. Now I've got them, but for my card, I'm going to play the change. I'm going to change the color of this tile to yellow. So now I get double the points. So I'm going to get four. I'm going to add up the values. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm going to double that, right? Sixteen. Now I get 32 points. Plus I add the bonus, plus three. I get 34 points uh, for that play. So that's a huge amount of points. Now obviously it's going to be difficult to do, but I just wanted to get you thinking about um, how sometimes it's better to hold your cards for the big points instead of uh, constantly using them to try and block your opponents and gain a little bit of points here or there. Um, save those block cards is a good strategy. Saving your block cards, saving your change color cards. And, and being strategic and thinking more about the long term than thinking tactically for the short term.